Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Fatima and I'm from the Universitas Muslim Nusantara al -Wasliya. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm standing here to talk about the problems about clean water and sanitation. Well, as Matt Damon once said, you will never solve poverty without solving water and sanitation. Well, ladies and gentlemen, water is an essential part of our life. It makes about 75% of our body. And in order to have healthy body, we need clean water. Yes, clean water. Only half of the population on earth have access to clean water. It means that every one of two people in the world does not have access to clean water. Now, let's think of it. How is the other half of the world is living? Half of these populations get water from the infected and not safe water sources. Ladies and gentlemen, bad quality water affects in many aspects of life, such as sanitation. Sanitation refers to public health condition related to clean drinking water and treatment and disposal of human excreta and sewage. It is also the promotion of hygiene and prevention of disease by maintenance of sanitary conditions, such as removal of sewage and trash. Sanitation has been one of the problems causing death in all over the world. And in Indonesia itself, it has caused about 16,000 lives to die and also 45,000 lives to die because of unsafe water sources. And those 16,000 lives died because of bad sanitation. This is the data we got from 2019. So this is just a case in Indonesia. Now imagine how massively this has impacted and caused death all over the world. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we can contribute in making this problem go away. There are three ways th that we can do in order to solve this problem. First of all, sanitation problems can be solved from the very basic part, that is our own selves. So let's keep ourselves clean and also keeping all our activities clean. Because if it's not us, then who? Second of all, I strongly advise each and every one of you to stand together to raise awareness towards our society about how important keeping the environment clean and how important it is for us and our future generation. And also, let's help in the best way we can to help organizations that contribute in providing clean water to all of the areas that are affected through donations because even our single penny matters for them. And last but not least, we can contribute by creating innovations to solve this problem by doing researches for that in collaboration with our institute and our government. Just like one student from Pakistan, Hamza Farooq, who invented a solar energy-based invention to filter water. His innovation has created many people to be able to drink clean water. And through this, we can be motivated that we can also become one like Hamza Farooq and we can contribute in our society to remove the sanitation and water problem. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Bad sanitation does not only lead to death, but also to the degradation of life expectancy and life quality, which leads to bad human resources quality. Well, look, if an area is infected or has a bad sanitation, it will cause many diseases of the people and for the productive part of the community. If they get infected to it, then it will stop their productivity. Other than that, for the people or the kids who are underage, it will stop their cognitive part and will lead them to the poor cognitive, which will lead to poor ability to learn and our future generation to have no ability or bad ability or quality of education. So we can all contribute for the better world and for better clean water and sanitation. So let's all work together hand in hand in creating better world. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.